Our Portland Trailblazers have a massive endeavor awaiting as we are currently tied 2-2 two two here in the second round playoff series against the Phoenix Suns. And today with games 5 and 6 on tap, we've got an opportunity to end the series and advance to the conference finals. We've got an opportunity to have our season ended and be eliminated, or we could be headed towards a game 7. So last episode, we had games three and four on the road in Phoenix. We ended up splitting them. That started with this 120 to 108 victory in game three. We trailed at halftime and we were down by as much as 19 in this game, but we stormed back. We ended up winning by 12, dominating in the second half. Shane and Sharp leading the way with 34 points. We had a triple double as well from Darius Springer. Just dominance in the second half on both ends of the floor. Game four was kind of similar at the start. Phoenix built an early lead. They got it to around 20 in the third quarter, but they clearly learned their lesson as they were able to hold on to their lead. We were able to strike fairly close at a couple points, but the Suns were never really in danger of losing this game, and thus the series is tied at two. Phoenix is no ordinary eight seed. They are not making things easy for us, and we've got an extra challenge awaiting for us Chris Depp's Porzingis suffered a collapsed lung in the third quarter of Game 4. And it's not a super long-term injury, but he will not be available for Game 5 or Game 6. And if this series goes 7, he won't be available for that either. We've got to figure out who's going to play the 5 with Porzingis hurt. And we've got a few options, but obviously none of them are as solid as our proven veteran big man. So in terms of guys who are going to play the five, we've got Zay Logan, who's gotten limited opportunity at center recently, and he's played pretty well. Don't let the C-plus inside defense fool you. Ashton Wisham has gotten opportunities in spurts. He's only a rookie, but at 7'3", he's got good size and length, which really helps him defensively. And I thought he showed some overall good flashes, not just as a rookie this year, but in the very limited opportunities he's gotten in the playoffs. I know the numbers aren't that exciting, but don't worry about the stats. There's also Enzo Shabazz, who also hasn't really been in the rotation, but he's going to get some minutes at the five as well. He's a little bit undersized, but I think he's going to be able to handle the physicality that somebody like DeAndre Ayton brings to the table. So what we're going to do with the rotation is we are going to have the rookie, Ashton Wisham, start at center. He's only going to play around 15 to 20 minutes a game. We're going to have him split off with Zay Logan and Enzo Shabazz at the five. Logan will also get some reps on the wing as well per normal, but he's going to play the five a little bit along with both Shabazz and Wisham. Ochai Abaji cut on the head right before the game as if we could get any more injuries. Obviously, that one's not going to be serious enough to hold him out, but it's also not ideal either. So let's get into one of the most important games of this franchise series so far. Game 5 of the second round of the playoffs between the Blazers and the Suns with the series tied at 2. And there's your injury report below. Obviously, Devin Booker is going to continue to go with the hip injury that he suffered in Game 1. Ochai Abaji is not going to let the cut on the head stop him. But no, Chris Stapps Porzingis likely for the remainder of this series and possibly longer if the Blazers get by Phoenix to begin with. And that would require us to win two or three, which is not going to be easy. The rookie out of St. Louis, Ashton Wisham, will be making his first career postseason start as he meets at center court for the tip with Aiton as it goes to Wisham. And we are underway here in game five. Series tied at two. Phoenix coming off a nice win in game four as the Blazers look to respond. Shot clock winding down. Springer looking for the screen. He has Griffin on the pick and pop. Three ball is good. Khalil Griffin. Gets the scoring started for the Blazers, and it's 3-0. Here's Caden Brake with it. The rookie out of Creighton gets it to Kevin Durant, who hits the jumper on the elbow. KD gets the scoring started for the Suns. Here is Shaden Sharp with it, trying to get some room. Blows by Booker. Too easy! Couple of Kentucky guards battling it out, and the young Shaden Sharp wins the battle as it's 5-2. Springer posts up on Durant. Shot no good as he steals the rebound away from Durant. Second chance effort, no good. Third chance effort, no good. Make your shots, Darius. So it's still five to two. Durant, step back jumper off the mark. Good defense by Springer. Here comes Portland on the fast break. Sharp for Springer. Pump fake, in for the layup, and he misses another one. Darius Springer has taken four shots within a foot of the basket, and he's missed all of them. 
So it's still 7-2 as the floater is good by Brake. Nearly blocked by the fellow rookie Ashton Wisham. 9-4. Brake snuffed inside. Scoot Henderson with the denial on the other end. Griffin pops the triple. And the Blazers lead 12-4. Interestingly, Enzo Shabazz is the first Blazer off the bench, replacing Wisham as Aiton hits the Eurostep. The Blazers are going to be rotating those bigs early and often as Griffin is wide open again. He hits another three. Khalil Griffin, three for three from beyond the arc in the first four-plus minutes of the game as it's 15-12. Kevin Durant left wide open. Durant probably makes that shot if he's contested, but leaving one of the greatest scorers of all time that wide open is certainly a strategy. Not a good one, though. Booker with a dime for Durant, who's in with the layup. KD has deferred himself as the number two scoring option for Phoenix, but he's played really well today as that ball is tipped away and stolen. Griffin with the initial pop. He's going to get the layup on the other end off the assist from Abaji. And Khalil Griffin's already got 11 points, the same amount that the entire Phoenix Suns team does as they call time down by eight. Booker, fadeaway three is good. Nice response by Devin Booker. He has it back on the following possession. Off the screen. Booker, step back. That one's good! Back-to-back -back threes for Devin Booker. And quickly, the Suns are right back within two. Make it four. Booker, third time's the charm. Are you kidding? Devin Booker is red hot. He's made three threes in a row, just like Griffin. Khalil Griffin nearly had an opportunity to take his fourth, but instead, he'll go in for the layup. Now with 13 points as Griffin and Booker are dueling here in the early going. Nice cut off the ball by Scoot Henderson. Portland continues their dominance off of inbounds as this one is tipped away and stolen by Mitchell Robinson. On the other end, Bradley Beal makes the layup and the veteran out of the University of Florida makes it a three-point game. 22-25 with a little over a minute left to go in the quarter. Anthony Simons in the game, possibly looking to spark as he hits the step back three for Portland. 30 to 22 now. Blazers up by eight. One of their bigger leads of the game so far. Booker off the screen. Heavily contested. It's good. Devin Booker is making everything, even with a guy in his face. Abaji was smothering him there, and guess what? It doesn't matter. 30 to 27. Wide open lane. Too easy. Henderson beats the buzzer. The Blazers were hoping to get a little pick and pop action, but if you're going to leave the paint that wide open, hey, that works too. 32-27, high-scoring start. Trailblazers ahead of the Suns. I feel like throughout this postseason series, the first quarters have all been very low-scoring, and the offenses take a little while to gradually get going. Not the case today, as the shot is no good. Robinson rebound. Rozier, three, and the foul! Terry Rozier with a four-point play to put Phoenix ahead. What happened to Portland's nice lead? It's evaporated within two minutes. Khalil Griffin has the Blazers right back ahead, though, with the layup. Griffin continuing his dominance. He's up to 15 points. Booker, Rozier, three. Again in the same right corner. He's not fouled this time, but he hits another triple. Booker floats that one up and in. Phoenix back ahead, and we've got ourselves potentially a back and forth track meet. Simons on the move. His jumper is good, and now we're knotted at 38. Suns regain the lead, though. Booker, three ball. No good. He finally missed one. Aiton with the rebound, pump fake on Wisham, and he gets the put back. Ashton Wisham bit on the fake. It's a rookie mistake, and the lead is up to four. Here's Ochai Abaji with it inside. Ashton Wisham, the rookie out of St. Louis University, with the dunk. 42-40, here's Caden Brake with it, guarded by Abaji. Gets it to Booker, another three, another make. Devin Booker is on another planet right now for the Suns. Simons gets it over to Zay Logan. Looks to get by Kessler Edwards as the layup is good. Lead down to three. Make it five. Phoenix has been really steady in this quarter, especially defensively. They've really played well. Here's Aiton guarded by Griffin. That's a mismatch. Khalil Griffin can hang with bigs, but Aiton's just too strong for the young wing to handle. Brake heaves up a prayer, and it's answered! Caden Brake beats the shot clock. 52-44 now, minute and a half. Left to go in the second. Sharp with it on the drive. Somebody's going to be open. It's Darius Springer who finally hits a field goal after starting the game 0 for 7 as it's 52-47. Break, trapped, Aiton, jumper. That one's good. DeAndre Aiton has been so effective in this series for the Suns. He looks like a different player than the guy who was on our team over the last two seasons. 
Springer thinks about the shot, doesn't take. Instead, he's intercepted by Jace McLean. On the other end, he gets it to break, who makes the tough layup over Scoot Henderson. And the lead sits at nine with just seconds to go in the first half. Suns passing it around quickly. Here's Rogier out to Durant. Heaves up a bomb. It's good. The Suns are making everything from deep. Griffin at the buzzer. No good. What a second quarter for the Suns on both ends of the floor. Talk about dominance. The Blazers were looking really good early in this game, and then all the momentum snapped. The Suns outscore Portland 32-15 to in the second quarter. We led by multiple possessions after the first, and now we're down by a dozen here at halftime. This is not unfamiliar territory, though. Very similar spot to where we were in games three and four, as Ayton is there with the dunk. Here comes Booker on the drive, gets by Sharp, blocked at the rim by Khalil Griffin. On the other end, Wisham, Springer. This is another one, are you kidding me? Darius Springer is one for 10 right now, his one make from the field being the three. As Booker misses, Ayton with the rebound, and that one is good over Wisham. The lead sits at 14 for the Suns. Griffin's jumper on the move, no good. Wisham with the rebound. Portland gets to reset the possession. It's Shade and Sharp with it. Pump fake. Wisham. Jumper is good. Ashton Wisham can space the floor just a teeny tiny bit as he hits the shot in the corner from around 15 feet out. 65-51. Booker inside for Durant, who's in for the dunk. Suns up by 18 now. They don't seem to be letting go with this lead. Just like game four, they've learned their lesson and they are building it up as they're now ahead by 20 with the mid-ranger by Booker. If Portland wants to start a rally, I know there's still five and a half minutes left in the third, but they've got to get going! Wisham with the denial on the other end. Springer back to Wisham with the slam. The rookie, Ashton Wisham, is playing his tail off in the third quarter. At least somebody has shown up since the end of halftime as he's doubled. Springer, open three in the corner, is good. And the Blazers are back only down by 13. Abaji, Springer, again! We've got ourselves a game. The Portland Trail Blazers are on a 10-0 run and are now only down by 10. They've got a pulse, folks. Break inside. Finally ends the scoring drought for the Suns as they're back up by a dozen. 75-63. Big couple of possessions for Phoenix. Looking to build their lead back. Durant, tightly guarded by Sharp. That's a size mismatch, though. Inside, pick and roll. Aiton, also a mismatch. Has an open man on the wing. It's Booker for three. No good. Booker was wide open. We had to help on Aiton, and I guess that proves to be a good decision. Griffin hits the open three on the other end. A six-point swing as Griffin hits his fourth three of the game, and it's a single-digit deficit, but not for long. An and-one slam for Bradley Beal, and it's Griffin. Called for the foul, and the Suns get their three points back. 78-66, back up by a dozen. Griffin with the drive, contested layup is good. What a play there by Griff. 78-68 now. Beal, wide open man, it's Mitchell Robinson as he beats Shabazz, who's unable to catch up. 12-point game again, Durant, jumper, no good. Nice play by Zay Logan, he hauls in the rebound. Logan out to Springer, wide open lane. Springer sends it home! It was a rough start for Darius Springer offensively, but he is really starting to play a lot better. How about another three? Yes, sir! Springer, his fourth from beyond the arc today, and the lead is down within seven, the closest it's been in this quarter. Robinson makes the layup. That'll make it 82-73. Portland's going to get one more shot off. Here's Simons. Heaves up a prayer at the buzzer. It's good! Anthony Simons hits the three, and the Trailblazers who were down by 20 at one point in this quarter, are only down by six going into the fourth. We looked dead in the water six or seven minutes ago, but we're back in the game. The Blazers currently on a 25 to 11 run, and why stop now? Khalil Griffin backs down for the bucket. Lead is within four. Booker, quick three, quick response. Devin Booker hits another triple. He's been unbelievable tonight. Mitchell Robinson with the layoff off the spin move. Lead is back up to seven. Here is Simons with it. Open lane. Now he's covered. Somebody's open. Shaden Sharp hits the three. It's been a quiet game for Sharp. He's only got 11. Want to see him be more aggressive. 
as Abaji drives in, and Ochai Abaji is there with the dunk. Six-point game. Phoenix still has the lead, even though the Blazers have all the momentum. Here is Aaron Neesmith on the drive. He throws it down. So far, the Suns are playing better here in the fourth quarter. They've outscored Portland through the first three-plus minutes. Booker, screen from Robinson, step back three. Big make for Devin Booker, and the Suns are back up by 11. Portland's got to respond. That's one way to do it. It's an inbound play, which means a guaranteed two points for Portland. Shaden Sharp is the one who finds the open lane. He's in for the lefty slam, and the lead is back down to seven. Here's Booker on the drive. Jumper over Sharp, no good. He was kind of open there, too. Springer with the rebound. Here's Griffin, pops another one. Bang! 29 for Khalil Griffin. 96-92. The lead is back within four. Halfway through the fourth, Ayton. Fools Wisham on the fake. Layup is good. We've seen a lot of flashes from Ashton Wisham, but he's made some rookie mistakes as well. Beal, spin out to DeAndre Ayton. Euro step. That one is good. Not a whole lot. Wisham could have done there. Really good play on offense by DeAndre Ayton. Eight-point game. Four and a half to go. Scoot Henderson on the drive. Open lane for Scoot. Who gets the dunk. Scoot Henderson's been really good here in this second round against the Suns. Better than he was in round one against San Antonio. As Durant is in with the layup for the Suns. It's an eight-point lead with three and a half to go as it's intercepted by break. And he will make the layup on the other end. You can't give away three points this late in the game. A costly turnover by the Trailblazers. Shaden Sharp on the drive. That's Springer open on the wing. Three ball. It's good! Darius Springer has not made anything inside the arc, but he's been phenomenal from deep. Lead at seven with three to go. Here's Beal inside for Ayton, who blows by Wisham without him even noticing. Nine-point game, 2.45 to go. If we want the rally to start, it's got to start now. Shaden Sharp, wide open lane. Too easy as he gets the dunk. Lead back within seven. Here's Booker on the drive, guarded by Sharp. Floats it up, no good. Nice defense by Shaden Sharp. He's in with the rebound, quickly running the floor. Out to Griffin. Griffin to Abaji. Back to Griffin. He leads the Blazers with 31 points. No assists yet. Until now, bang! Scoot Henderson hits the open three. The Suns are too focused on help defense inside. They keep leaving these shooters open on the perimeter. Scoot Henderson falls asleep, though, on defense as Caden Brake makes the layup. And again, you can't let them get easy points. Six-point game, two minutes to go. Sharp off the pass from Abaji is in with the layup. Lead back down to four. Portland continues to hang around. How long is it going to take the Suns to close it out? It's a lob for Jace McClain, who has nobody home inside to stop him. Six-point game. Here's Khalil Griffin. He's doubled. Open his scoot. Thinks about the shot, doesn't take it. He finds Abaji with it, who's got seven assists. Is he's tightly guarded. Inside for Springer! who's able to get some room and send down the dunk. Four-point game again, minute 20. Booker, three, no good off the screen. Springer with the rebound is eighth. Out to Scoot Henderson, open lane. Henderson drives, layup is good. And for the first time in a while, it's a one-score game. 112-110, under about a minute left. Booker, step back, no good again. Griffin with the rebound, tip from Springer. Blazers can tire, take the lead here. Griffin with it. Over to Darius Springer. He's going to look to back down on DeAndre Ayton as he gets it to Sharp. Dribble handoff for Griffin. Ten on the shot clock. Portland doesn't seem to have much of a play here. Griffin's going to be wide open for three now for the lead. No good. It's off the back iron. Khalil Griffin had a chance to put Portland ahead, but he misses a wide open shot. Durant, no good. It's still a two-point game. Portland's not going to call a timeout. They're just going to roll with the punches here with 23 seconds left. It's Griffin with it. Portland's going to look to shoot this ball sooner than later. Sharp to Scoot. Scoot to Springer. Look at this mismatch guarded by Break. He's doubled. Layup. No good. Griffin. Rebound for the tie. It's good. Khalil Griffin with the putback. And we're knotted up at 112. Bold strategy there to not... Go for a timeout and roll with the punches offensively. Springer gets the mismatch. He misses another layup, his 100th of the game. But Khalil Griffin, who's been the best player on the floor tonight, is there with the rebound and the putback to tie it. We're going to bring our best defensive lineup in the game. Time to lock down. 
What are the Suns going to look to do here with a tie game in nine seconds in regulation? Do they go for Booker? Do they go for Durant? Do they go for Ayton? I think with how well Devin Booker has been able to get open and create his own shot tonight, he's going to be the guy they try to get the ball to. And what I think Booker is going to try to do, rather than drive inside or look for a three, is just try to get open on the mid-range. Have him in isolation, one-on-one, -on -one, with everybody spaced away from him. And I think what we've got to do is try to force some type of tough shot, especially early in the shot clock, to try to get him to panic. Everybody else has to be covered too, just so that way... Booker's not going to find somebody open. So it is in the hands of Devin Booker, as expected. Guarded by Griffin. Three to go. Booker. Pump fake for the win! It's good! Devin Booker wins it for the Suns at the buzzer! He fools Griffin on the fake and hits the mid-ranger to win it! I thought Devin Booker was shooting that ball originally, and Griffin was going to contest that shot perfectly... But Booker dupes everybody in the arena out with a fake. And he gets it off before the clock sounds to win it for the Suns. That's pretty much exactly the play I was expecting from Phoenix. Give Booker the ball. Give him room. Let him create his own shot. I didn't expect the fake though. Other than that, we executed the possession really well. Khalil Griffin was phenomenal. 33 points. Yes, he allowed the game-winning basket. But he is not to blame for the loss. He was brilliant. Darius Springer made a lot of threes. He also missed a lot of twos. And for what it's worth, his double-double streak is over. The first 10 playoff games of the year, he got double-doubles on all of them. But today, he only got eight boards. 17 for Sharp, 15 for Scoot. Ashton Wisham, we saw the good, the bad, and the ugly. I was really impressed with him on offense. He did all he could. He was impressive as a passer. Defensively, I saw some good things, and I saw some bad things as well. I want to see him get a little more active on the glass, though, as well. Overall, a pretty good game for the offense. The second quarter was pitiful, but other than that, the offense was really solid. Problem is, we couldn't stop Devin Booker. 33 points, albeit on 31 shots. He was not overly efficient, but he made the one that counted at the end. DeAndre Ayton with a double-double. Durant was solid. Caden Brake was pretty good. Phoenix's offense made big shots when they needed to, and they held on to control of this game the entire way. Even though we chipped away at the lead in the third quarter and late in the fourth, Phoenix always kind of had this game in their trap. We obviously tied it late, but have no fear. Devin Booker's going to win it. And now our season is on the line here in Game 6. I think we're going to roll with the same rotation. Obviously, we may switch stuff based on who's playing well and who's not playing well. But I think we're just going to roll with what we've got and hope for the best. Our season is in jeopardy. We've got to win two in a row or else the dream is over. And that starts here in game six on the road in Phoenix. We've got to take one at their place in order to keep the season alive and bring it to a game seven. The Suns coming off a miraculous victory in game five with a buzzer beater from Devin Booker to take it. And now the Suns lead three to two. The Sacramento Kings have officially beaten the Dallas Mavericks in six, so another Cinderella. The Mavericks have been knocked out, and the three-seeded Sacramento Kings await the winner of this series, which could be Phoenix, if they win tonight. Blazers got to keep their season alive, trailing 3-2 to two as Ashton Wisham wins the tip, and we are underway here with game six. Scoot, Springer, wide open, takes his time, buries the three. Springer was five of eight from deep in game five, he was also 2 for 11 from 2, but that's besides the point. Quick response for the Suns. It's Devin Booker coming off his big game 5 as he hits the 3. Springer with another miss inside. He's blocked inside. I see we've got game 5. Darius Springer right back. Ball is poked away from Durant and stolen by Scoot. Wish him with it. Scoot lobs it up for Jaden Sharp. Air Canada sends it home. Big time slam for Shade and Sharp. We're tied at five. Here's Griffin on the drive. He gets a dunk of his own. 33 and eight in the game five loss for Khalil Griffin, who played extravagantly. Why is Devin Booker wide open? That seems like a really stupid idea. He hits the three. Suns up early again. Here's Durant with it. He's going to drive, and the layup is good. Phoenix is off to a great start on both ends of the floor. They're doing well on offense. Portland's not getting anything to go down for them on offense as Scoot misses. Wisham with the rebound. And Ashton Wisham, the big fella, 
using all seven foot three of his frame to get the put back. 16-11, here's Simons with it inside for Griffin, who's off to a slow start. He's been inefficient so far on offense, but he makes the dunk. It's only a one-score game now. Blazers are right back in it. Here's Bradley Beal with it on the drive inside. Dominating with the two-handed jam. 22-15 now. Here's Darius Springer with it. He's doubled. Wide open in the corner is Ochai Abaji. Showing off a little rock chalk as he hits the corner three. 22-18. Suns get the three right back. And and one for Bradley Beal. It's sharp with the foul. Beal would actually end up missing the three throw, so the Suns don't get the three back. But the Blazers will. A budgie with an and one of his own. Rogier with the foul. And yes, Ochai did make the three throw. He's got six already, and he's not done. A budgie is in for the layup, and he is on fire to start this game with eight points leading the bench. That's more than he had in all of game five. Durant with a big three, though, for Phoenix. That'll put them up by four, 23-27. Here is Shaden Sharp with it. Jumper on the move, no good. Springer with the rebound. Pump fake, layup is good. Darius Springer is so good at scoring inside. I don't know what has happened through the first five quarters today, but that was good to see as he gets the steal. Out to Logan, boom! Tie game at 27. The best offense is good defense. Big turnover forced by Springer, who's doing a little bit of everything with 5-4-4. Four, and four. Durant inside for the lead, no good. Springer with the rebound out to Abaji, who's going to heave it up at the buzzer. That one is no good. All things considered, that quarter could have gone a lot worse. We played horribly through the first six minutes. So the fact that this is tied is a win. And now we're up. 29-27 to start the second. Robinson in the corner. Rogier, tough three, is good. Some of the contested shots the Suns have made today, dating back to game five as well, are just ridiculous. Mitchell Robinson, no good. Nice defense by Scoot. Problem is, Rogier's open for three. Scoot Henderson busted his tail on that defensive possession just for Terry Rogier to be wide open. 33-29, Rogier to Booker now. Three consecutive triples for the Suns. They get their seven-point lead back. 36-29, here's Booker with it. That jumper is good. And the common theme of the Suns building a lead in the second quarter appears to be back. They've had trouble maintaining these leads as Simons is with it, hoping somebody's open. And it's Ochai Abaji. He's got 11 now. His only miss was the half-court heave at the end of the first quarter. Simons, corner, sharp now. That one's good. The Suns' perimeter defense in this series, I cannot understate this enough, has been terrible. Portland's really hasn't been much better. Rogier misses the open three, though. Here's Sharp with it. Step back. Long range three. That one's good. Shaden Sharp is in the double figures. Both teams are shooting the long ball. Lights out here in the second. Sharp could have gone for the lead, but instead he'll take the tie. In for the dunk. We're knotted up at 40. Phoenix's nice lead ends up being short-lived. Here's Durant out to Booker. Three for the lead. That one's good. In game five, it was a duel between Booker and Griffin. Today it looks like Booker and Sharp, maybe Abaji as well, as Scoot Henderson gets a nice dunk over his former teammate DeAndre Ayton. Wasn't the prettiest dunk, but hey, two points is two points. Here is Shaden Sharp with it, looking for the screen. Sharp trying to find room on the drive. Somebody's open in the corner. It's Ochai Abaji for three. The Suns' defense looks like they've never seen motion in their lives. I don't get it. They just instinctively all go to help the paint, and somebody's going to be wide open beyond the perimeter. There's Aiton with the dunk, 47-45. Caden Brake with it. Suns down by two. Durant off the catch. Quick three is good. And the Suns are ahead by a point. Shabazz on the inbound. This should be an easy two points for the Blazers, right? Scoot Henderson, layup. Yes. The Blazers know how to find their spots with the baseline inbounds. They don't know how to find their spots on defense. Rogier wide open. This is, though. Suns have taken a three-point lead, by the way. Here's Abaji with it over to Scoot Henderson on the drive. And Scoot gets the reverse slam. We are within one with under 30 to go in the half. Bradley Beal's three, no good. Aiton with the offensive rebound. Layup put back is good. And it is a three-point game. Portland looking to tie or bring it within one to end the half. It's intercepted by Beal. Griffin was wide open. I don't know why he didn't send it to him. As this one is a good one. Suns lead at 54-51 here at the break. The Trailblazers are one half away from having their season ended. There's still plenty of time. We're only down by three. 
This is the closest halftime game we've had in a while, but still, we've got some work to do. As there's a look at the rest of the playoffs. The Miami Heat have officially beaten the Brooklyn Nets in six. The Heat were under 500 this year, yet they are in the conference finals awaiting either the Milwaukee Bucks, the number one seed in the East, or the Detroit Pistons. There's been so much parity this year in the NBA playoffs. Only one one seed is left. No twos. One three, one four. The four, of course, being the Blazers. As we move into the third, Shaded Sharp with an elegant slam to make it a three-point game. DeAndre Ayton has been a victim inside with some of these dunks in this game. Griffin gets it over to Shaden Sharp, looking to the screen. Sharp fade away for the tie. 17 for Shaden Sharp. He's been aggressive today, and he has been on the money. Sun's up by one now. Here's Booker for three. That one's good. Phoenix back up by four. Blazers look to respond. Here is Scoot Henderson. Screen from Springer. Scoot on the drive. Hands it off to Springer. Layup is tipped in. I think Kevin Durant got a hand on it, but hey, two points is two points. Here is Shaded Sharp with it looking for the screen from Wisham. Sharp drives right side. Oh, baby! He just windmilled on two guys. That was nasty. DeAndre Ayton, again, a victim as Durant tips it into his possession for the steal on the other end. Break, short jumper, off the glass. It's a four-point Suns lead. The score really hasn't changed much here in this third quarter. Sharp, jumper no good. Ashton Wishing with the rebound. Blazers get to reset the possession. Scoot on the drive. Griffin, deep three from Curry range. It's good. Griffin's only got eight. He's been a lot quieter today than he was in game five. But he hits a big shot there to make it a one-point game. Booker, layup is good. The Blazers getting a taste of their own medicine off the inbound as it's 66-67 now. Six to go in the third. Both offenses have been great since halftime as Aiton has it. Spin move over to Logan. Not a whole lot Zay Logan could have done there. That was A defense, but A plus offense by Aiton. Springer with it. Lefty slam. One point game again. 69. Nice. To 68. Booker inside. Aiton. Has that ball thrown in the air? Logan was the one who got a hand on it. On the other end, Abaji mid-ranger for the lead. It's good. The Blazers on top for the first time since early in this second quarter. 70 to 69. Nice. Caden Brake misses. Eight and offensive rebound. Put back is good. And Portland's lead lasts a whole 15 seconds. Suns back ahead. Abaji has a wide open shot inside. He doesn't take it. Instead, for Springer! who gets a nasty slam for the lead. Springer did not get a double-double in the last game, but he's already got one today, 13 and 10. As Aiton gets the dunk, Phoenix is now back ahead. Nobody wants to keep this lead. On the other end, Logan, Abaji, that one's good. Blazers are now ahead by one. Suns with it on the inbound. Beal gets it over to Devin Booker on the baseline. Jumper, no good. Aiton with another offensive rebound. DeAndre Ayton continues to dominate on the glass. Why couldn't we get this guy on a consistent basis over the last two years for our team? Booker, layup, good. Three-point lead for the Suns with under three to go in the third. Caden Brake has it for Phoenix. He gets it to Beal. Back to Brake. He'll make the layup. And the Suns are up by five, their biggest lead in a little while. Three-point game again. Brake blocked at the rim. Scoot Henderson got a hand on it. Scoot out to Sharp for the tie. Bang! 24 for Sharp through three as we are tied at 83 with around a minute and a half left in the third. Booker, what a move! Able to create some space and ignites one from the corner. And it's a three-point Phoenix lead. Logan with it over to Shaden Sharp now. Sharp says what you can do, I can do better! What a play by Shaden Sharp. Suns up 86-88. Sharp of 27 gets by Booker. Looking for another big three. This time it's no good. I think the roof of this place would have exploded if he made it. Durant's going to get it for the last shot, hoping for a good look. Instead, it's Robinson who is it stripped away by Shabazz. And that'll wrap up the third, 88-86. We've got ourselves a good one. Buckle up. Biggest quarter maybe of this entire franchise series so far. Portland is down by two. Our season is on the line here. If we don't outscore the Suns by at least two points in this fourth quarter... Season's over. It's been fun. Back to the drawing board. We obviously are not ready for that. So we've got some work to do as Khalil Griffin starts the scoring with a reverse slam. 
Sharp inside for Springer, guarded by Kessler Edwards. Springer, hook shot, fade away for the lead. Showing off his Kareem Abdul Jabbar impression. 90 to 88. Shaded Sharp with the 360 throwdown. What a slam by Shaded Sharp going up, up, and away. 92 88. Good start to the quarter for the Blazers. Who have outscored Phoenix 6 0 since the quarter change. Shot no good. Robinson rebound. Booker. Corner three. No good. He was open too. That's a big miss. Logan ends up with it. Out to Springer with the drive. Layup is good. And it's a six point lead for the Blazers. They are playing like their season's on the line here in the fourth. This is a very encouraging start. Robinson screen. Booker three. It's good. Suns cut the lead in half. 94-91 now. Darius Springer, 17-10-6. Inside for Griffin. Wide open, and that's a goaltending on Robinson, and the bucket counts. 96-91. Portland up by five. Big couple of minutes here for Phoenix. Break, pump fake. Guarded by Scoot. Gets some room. Jumper is good. Caden Brake is not your ordinary rookie. He's made some big shots throughout this postseason series. 98-93, 6.20 to go. Beal, fadeaway three, is good! Bradley Beal makes it a two-point game, make it four. Booker inside, no good. Nice defense by Sharp, he's got 29 points. Booker's got even more. Griffin inside for Scoot, what a pass! Layup is good! Khalil Griffin's a really solid passer. If he can continue to improve that area of his game, he's gonna be so dangerous on offense. Booker, pump fake, jump shot is good. He was a step inside the arc though, it's a two. As the Trailblazers call time, four and a half to go, two-point lead. Biggest four and a half minutes of this series so far. Abaji in for the layup. He's got 24 off the bench on absurd efficiency. What a game for Ochai. Kevin Durant, three ball is good. It rattles in. And the lead is within one. Springer was slow to get to him as Durant is there with the interception. Suns can take the lead. Caden Brake, spin move. Looks to get inside, guarded by Scoot. Out to Durant, three ball, it's good! Kevin Durant! Has the Suns on top, but not for long. A couple of Khalil Griffin three throws later. It's 106-106. Ayton, layup. That one's good. Suns up by two with 2.40 to go. Lock in, guys. Scoot Henderson, fade away three for the lead. No good. Springer offensive rebound. He's blocked. Ayton with the snuff. What a play by the former Blazer. On the other end, here is Booker with it. Guarded by Ochai. Out to Durant for three. No good. Thank the Lord. If he made that, that would have been bad news. As McLean is called for the blocking foul. Blazers get it back, looking to tie or take the lead. Springer thinks about the shot, doesn't take. Fools Durant. Jumper is no good. Had to score there. That was basically a five on four. Durant got so fooled by the fake that he was basically out of the picture defensively. Got to capitalize there. Instead, Durant takes a shot here. He misses. Lead stays at two with under two to go. Griffin on the drive. It is a blocking foul on Durant. I was worried they were going to call the charge, but his feet were not set. That would put the Blazers in the bonus. Griffin would make both at the line. We're tied at 108. Booker looking for the lead as he's basically dancing in the mid-range. And he gets that one to go. Layup for Scoot. No good. Wisham with the offensive rebound. The rookie comes up big to keep the possession alive. Minute and a half to go. Springer. Drive. No good again. Aiton with the rebound. The Blazers miss two inside. Durant on the other end. Guarded by Griffin. Inside for McLean who is it stripped away. Scoot Henderson gets it. Portland on the fast break. Sharp three for the lead. Bang! Shaded Sharp with a gigantic triple. He has the Blazers up one with just over a minute. This is it. Season's on the line. Booker. Aiton. Pick and roll for the lead. Ashton Wisham is too slow reacting on these pick and rolls. Sometimes his length is able to make up for it and he's still able to make a play. That time though, he did not. Suns lead by one. Here is Scoot with the drive for Wisham inside and he is fouled with 46 and a half to go. If you told me at the beginning of the season that our year would basically be decided by Ashton Wisham three throws, I'd say you're lying. First one is good for the rookie. And this game is tied. Second one for the lead. It's good! Ashton Wisham, clutch, Gene. Blazers lead by one. Shout out the rookie with the two biggest three throws of the year. 
Suns call time, 46 and a half seconds left. What are they going to do on offense? I don't think they're looking for Booker or Durant. As good as those guys have been, I think they're looking inside for DeAndre Ayton. Ashton Wisham has had his fair share of struggles defensively. He's made some good plays, but he's also oftentimes been slow to react. So even if they're not looking for Ayton specifically, I do think they're going to go inside, whether it's Booker on a drive, Durant on a drive, or just to DeAndre Ayton. So because of that, I want to have our focus inside. And we are going to keep Ashton Wisham in the game. I think our best chances of getting a stop is with him in there. We've got to make these guys work and not get any good looks inside the restricted area. 46 and a half seconds to go. Blazers up by one after a pair of three throws by the rookie, Ashton Wisham. Portland's defensive all lineup is not in the game yet. They're keeping their regulars out there. Booker for the lead. No good! Shaden Sharp with the stop. Wisham with the rebound. Suns will not foul. So Portland's got an interesting dilemma now. How long do you hold on to the ball? And what kind of shot do you go for? 26 to go. It's Jaden Sharp with it. Eight on the shot clock. Blazers hoping somebody can get open. Springer, screen from Wisham. He's got to get it off quick. Drives inside. Throws it down! Darius Springer with a two-handed slam. And Portland is ahead by three with the shot clock unplugged. And Phoenix uses their final timeout. Clock sits at 16.2 seconds. So now if you're Phoenix, do you go for the three? Do you go for the quick two? Do you go for a quick three? What I think they're going to do is I think they will not go for a two. With 16 seconds left, I don't know if there's enough time to realistically make a shot, then go back on the other end without a timeout and score again. So I think they're going to go for the three now. Is it going to be Durant or Booker? I think Booker's done a better job of creating his own shot. But I think Kevin Durant is the scarier shooter, especially when he's able to get open off the ball and have somebody get him a screen to give him room to get it open. We do not want Kevin Durant taking this shot, and our focus is going to be on him with the defensive lineup in the game. 16 seconds left. McLean with it. He will inbound it to a wide-open Durant for the tie. It's no good. Springer with the rebound, and he's fouled. Ashton Wisham flying in to contest the shot. That could have been a foul if he didn't watch himself, so he's lucky. Instead, it's Springer at the line to shoot two. He misses the first one. Oh, boy. Things just got interesting. Second one for Springer is money. Portland leads by four. Under 13 seconds left. Phoenix has to shoot the ball quick. No time to waste. They've got to shoot the ball. What are they doing? Break to McLean. He's blocked by Shabazz. Suns are not fouling. Springer's just going to try to get rid of the ball. And it's over. The Trailblazers keep their season alive we are going to seven. Oh man that was a close one but portland is able to hang on by their chinny chin chins and for the first time in the trailblazers by nba franchise we've got the two best words in sports coming up game seven in the next episode let's take a look at this game here able to hang on with a big fourth quarter devin booker with 43 points in case you were unaware, he is very good at basketball. 20-11 for Ayton, 18 for Durant. KD was big late in this game, though. Give him credit. But he continues to defer as the second option. If I'm the Suns, I really look to use Durant more on offense in Game 7. Nobody else other than the big three was all that impressive. As for us, 32 for Shaden Sharp. He had some big threes today. 6 of 10 from deep. 24 for Abaji on 9 of 11 shooting. Springer, 20 and 14. We did have some guys who were inefficient. Griffin, 5 of 14. Scoot, 5 of 17. But both of them found other ways to make impacts. And then Ashton Wisham, the rookie, again, wasn't perfect. But he grabbed 11 boards, had some good plays on defense. And most importantly, the two biggest three throws of the game to put us on top. And we held the lead the entire way after those two makes. So with that, we're going to Game 7. In the next episode, with a spot in the Western Conference Finals on the line. Can the Blazers get past Phoenix, or will our season come to a heartbreaking end? Find out in the next episode. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Peace out.